Comparison is a thief of joy. And what I mean by that is if you're always comparing yourself to others, you will never be happy. You will never be able to fully appreciate the journey that that you set out for yourself because you see someone else who is more successful, stronger, or faster, and you use that as a baseline uh, for yourself. And you think that that's where I should be now. And that's not the case. Uh, a lot of times we see we see things that are much, uh, much better, much more expensive or strong, someone that's stronger and realize that we want that expectation, but we don't realize the, the amount of work that it takes to get to that point. We're only, we're only focused with the end result. If we always spend all our time comparing ourselves to others, then there will never be a time to embrace and really enjoy the accomplishments that you made for yourself. I stopped comparing myself to others as soon as I started training in the gym. It gave me more time to reflect on myself and the goals that I have for myself. Uh, I had a plan. I you know, wanted to do some sort of some form of cardio within my training and I also wanted to get stronger. I wanted to be more flexible and really just a uh, an all around individual and many hours put into into the gym really took that took that skill away from me the the skill of comparing yourself to others i do think that comparing yourself to others has its place and i think it allows you to see where you match up with with other people um, in your in your age range but I don't think utilizing comparisons to baseline your growth uh, your progress is uh, beneficial for training this week was a very light week my deadlifts did two sets, one on the 135 and another on the 225. I didn't want to go any heavier just given that uh, my marathon was that that weekend. Um, also on the squats you can see uh, my increments were not as crazy of jumps compared to my other weeks. Um, the first set, 45, going up by 20 each time. And really just going through the motions of the reps, trying to figure out uh, how ready I am uh, for this 26-mile run. And I, I feel good. I feel uh, really good. And I think, I think the marathon will pose a lot of challenges uh, for me just because the course is something new something that I've never done and something about the unknown uh, really intrigues me and, and knowing that this is your first time experiencing such a race and to not know but to be prepared to be prepared is is why i'm excited uh, going with the bench i uh, did very light as well just 
haven't haven't been 100% on my chest and mix mix that with with the marathon I just you know don't have the mental space to uh, rep out anything heavier yeah do, do do you think I do think the form has been really good for me it's just the the left pack have has been having some issues and here's my running splits my 20 uh, 721 and 722 those are just shakeout runs just to uh, get my muscles ready for the following day on the 23rd for the day of the marathon that's it for this week and i'll catch you in the next one